What is up you guys? It is Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to a pretty exciting review. I, I feel like I'm always excited for every review, but I'm always like legitimately excited because it's always something new for me to try with you guys and give you my honest review. But wow, I was not anticipating to get to do this because, well, you saw from the title, no Cow came out with vegan protein powders. Yes, so excited. Um, if you don't know already, they make my absolute favorite protein bars out there. So many. Go check out the link in the description box if you want to go try them yourselves. There's a coupon code as well. But yeah, they just came out with two vegan protein powders, vanilla and chocolate. Oh my goodness, like this is crazy cool. I was not anticipating that. But yes, here it is. The packaging is beautiful. They made it purposefully out of like aluminum because I guess the recyclability of aluminum can be used like over and over and over again without like the same deterioration that like plastic goes through. Goes through. So that's pretty cool. So maybe hopefully in the future more protein brands do packaging of the sort. Plus it just... It looks so nice. I'm sorry, I'm a business-minded person, so I always like to see how well they do the packaging, but it just reminds me so much of the bar, just with their logo, everything. I love it. But we're gonna jump right into it and explaining like the ingredients, the macros, the breakdown of all of it, so I can give you a solid review. So starting out with like the servings per container, we'll go with the vanilla. So this does have only 21 servings per container in that 20 one serving like the one scoop is 43 grams so that's about a quarter more than you will get if you get like sun warrior or live body and for that 43 grams you get 2.5 fat 16 carbs and 22 protein so higher in carbs than the regular like protein powder just being like 24 grams the two carb and two fat i feel like that's like a normal number at least with like live body that tends to be the number of protein to carb ratio that you find so it is higher on the carb so this probably wouldn't be like a protein powder that i would turn to if i were cutting down but for right now in my diet it's definitely something that i can allocate those extra carbs to so just want to point that out as well as for the ingredients it's a protein blend of pea protein brown rice protein which is great because then you get your full amino profile other than that it's got a sweetener blend of erythritol monk fruit stevia some corn fiber natural flavors so super simple ingredients so i like to see that that it's super clean non-gmo project all that kind of fun stuff not much you know on the label so it's not like a fruits and veg blend um as live body does have in their proteins so uber duper simple but yes so as for the chocolates it's also 130 calories too fat 19 carb 22 protein so even higher in carbs on this guy and if you're wondering why they're both still 130 protein it's just because labels can round up. So anyways, I'm excited to try these out, see how well they come through with a simple chocolate and vanilla protein powder. So I'm gonna start off with the vanilla, mix it up in a mason jar with just some water and we'll see how it tastes. All right, so I've got the vanilla mixed up, super smoothly mixed up, but <laughs> I gotta show you this real quick. The scooper is so cool the aluminum scooper like this is so nice that i'm gonna honestly just like keep this even when i run out and use it to scoop i don't know flour or other powders or seeds or something um but yeah that's just cool <laughs> anyways we've got the vanilla right here mixed super cleanly it smells really good like dang oh yeah that smells really nice oh my gosh okay let's see how it tastes Mmm. Wow. That's, whoa. I mean, I had no expectations because they've never come out with a protein powder before, so I didn't know what to come up with. But knowing that they have such great flavored protein bars, I mean, yeah, they, they held up to the fact that they're great at coming up with flavors. Wow. I mean, 
I don't know if I put too much water, but like there's no thick viscosity to it. Maybe if I put lesser water, it would have more of a richness, but it's super like clean in the sense that there's no grittiness whatsoever. No weird aftertaste. Nice, sweet vanilla taste. Oh my gosh. It's like, mm. oh my gosh, that's really good. I'm going to definitely use that if I'm going to make like a high protein nut butter. So if you want to see a recipe for that, let me know down below. I've got some protein nut butter recipes planned out, but oh my gosh, I'm definitely excited to try this in my morning oatmeal baking with it. This is, oh my gosh, it is really, it's, it's like just the perfect balance of vanilla. It's not crazy overpowering and it's not over underwhelming and you don't taste like the brown rice or the pea protein at all. So perfect ratio, super stoked on it. I mean, next time I'm going to just have to try it with a little less water to see if I can get a little thickness out of it because it's super thin, just like I'm drinking vanilla flavored water, which isn't a bad thing, but I like more, I don't know, viscosity to my uh, shakes. Um, but of course, if like I had this with a plant-based milk, it'd probably taste just as good. So finish this up, clean it out, and then we're going to try the chocolate. All right, so onto the chocolate. And again, it mixed so easily without like a ball or anything. So I like that for if I put it in my shaker cup to have it quickly after um, a workout and I just like need something real quick. I don't have to worry about any kind of clumping. Like, ooh, that smells really good. Mmm, that smells so good. Wow, nice chocolatey smell. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Wow. Honestly, I, I, I started to have almost low expectations on their protein powder because they've never come out with protein powders before, but also they've nailed their protein bars so well. So I both had like no expectations, but also kind of low expectations. Like I just didn't know what to anticipate, honestly, but holy cannoli, like, for a vanilla and chocolate, just simple. Wow, that is really good. And it, the flavor holds up so well. Like, oh my gosh, mm. crazy smooth. It, it's just like having like a whey protein powder. So great alternative if you're someone who's like lactose intolerant or has a dairy allergy and you're trying to find a good protein alternative. I mean, I love Live Body and Sun Warrior as well. Those are the two that I always go to, but this is bomb. Like, I I'm really amazed at how well the flavors turned out for a simple vanilla and chocolate. Like, so many brands have vanilla and chocolate, but then you'll see like Ghost has like all the other wild flavors. But if you want something simple, these are bomb. Um, again, like it's a lower serving size for, you know, the price that you get. I'll have to pull up the price for you guys just to let you know. But I do have a coupon code for no cow if you guys want to try them out yourself because wow, that tastes so good. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll give you my overall consensus of this protein powder. All right, guys. So time to give my overall review of the no cows new protein powders and I just want to know like I feel pretty full so it's quite satiating and it's probably due to the fact that there's that soluble corn fiber because each of these has six grams of fiber so and zero sugar so because it has erythritol but overall I mean 10 out of 10 for the freaking packaging like that's amazing but overall my thoughts on it I would give it nine out of 10. The reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is due to the macros not being quite ideal for what I look forward to. Now that's my subjective opinion regarding the macros. If you do the full scoop, you still get 22 grams of protein. So if you're super flexible with what your carb amount is, then definitely, definitely give this a try. So, so good. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine making this as like a nice cream or you know a protein fluff ice cream that would be delicious but oh my gosh both flavors the vanilla and chocolate I'm amazed and I honestly like if they did not taste good I would tell you guys 
Um, even though I have a coupon code for them, I would say, okay, just stick to their protein bars, not their protein powders. But wowzers, I hope they come out with more flavors because this is delicious. Oh, let me grab the price for you guys real quick. All right, so they do come out to $39.99, roughly $40. So it is almost $2. Well, it is $2 per serving, pretty much, because it has 20 servings. But if you use my coupon code, you save 20% and it comes out to $32. So that's really not that bad. That's pretty darn good price since proteins always run for about 40 bucks. Um, but yeah, up to your discretion if you want to try it, of course. Otherwise, I mean, live body, sun warrior, and no cow. Holy cannoli, this is going to be difficult for me. Like, I'm, I'm obsessed with them and I'm super stoked that they came out with a solid protein that legitimately tastes good. So proud to say that I do recommend this to you guys. Otherwise, if you enjoy this video, do give it an S. Big thumbs up. If you haven't already, do subscribe. Let me know in the comments section below if there's any supplements you want me to try next, what you think about this. If you want to go try it out for yourself, what recipe should I come up with next also? Because your girl loves to bake. Otherwise, next video, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we've got like a full day of eating, workout, baking. You let me know. I'll see you whenever that happens. All right. Be safe, be strong, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.